Hello, hello, imaginative people. My name's Dave Allen. This is my studio. Today I'm gonna to take you on a ceramic journey, a ceramic journey that involves the manipulation of clay and the manipulation of clay to make a beautiful object. For example, this handled cup. So today I'm gonna to talk about the whole process that goes into how I make one of these handled cups. And it should be pretty exciting, so stick around. I've got lots to share. And today's journey begins right here with a lump of clay that I'm gonna wedge up into balls and then start throwing with on the wheel. Today I'm gonna to be making cups with handles. So I start out by actually throwing the handles on the wheel and letting those set up before I even start making the cups. And here we have future handles. And once I set up a little bit, I'll clean up the other side and then start throwing the cups. And now it's time to attach the handle. I've let everything set up for a little bit to what's considered leather hard stage. And I attach the handle by slipping and scoring the cup and the handle, which is just adding a little bit of water and roughing up the surface. And then I just twist it on very carefully, but make sure not to get any air bubbles in the, between the connection of the handle and the cup. So it ensures that the handle will be there for a long time. And there's one last detail that I put on the cup before they go into the kiln. And it's this band right here. And that looks like this. And now that we've thrown a cup, thrown a handle, attached a handle, banded the bottom, and let them dry for a few days, they're ready to be loaded into the best kiln. And they're very fragile right now, so this is a delicate process. And welcome back. So here's the next step to making a cup. It's the glazing part. So the cups thrown, bisque fired, are ready to be glazed. I'm gonna use a white glaze for the interior glaze. And now that they're bisque fired, they're much harder, less fragile, and still porous. So it allows the glaze to absorb into them. And then they have to be fired again to a much warmer temperature that allows the glaze to flux and fuse to the clay. And then I'll go back in and put a glaze on the exterior. And 
here are the cups with the interior glazed and they're ready to screen print. And now that I've glazed the inside of the cup, I flip them over and I'm going to screen print the bottoms with underglaze. And now we're going to glaze the outside, which is the final surface treatment before they go in the kiln. And here are the freshly glazed cups. White glaze on the inside, clear glaze on the outside, and the logo screen printed on the bottom. And now they're ready for the kiln. And now it's time to carefully load them into the kiln. And here we are, back at the kiln. And it's been two and a half days since we've loaded these. And we fired to cone six, which is about 2230 degrees, which is very hot. At that temperature, the cups become vitreous, which means impermeable to water. So you can actually use them, drink out of them. They're food safe, dishwasher safe, and microwave friendly. And they're actually made to be used. So let's take a look and see how we did. And here's the finished batch of cups. I made this batch for my friends at the Wilbury Theater. They're a great group of theater folks and I really enjoy working with them. And I hope they enjoy using my cups. Well, thanks so much everyone for coming on my handled cup journey. Big thanks to the Wilbury Theater for believing in art and ordering some cups for me. Big thanks to the Gordon School for allowing me to share my practice. And remember everyone, stay creative out there. All right, I'm Dave Allen. This is my studio. Until next time.